All right, this is Chris with Quadrocopter here to explain the Red Pro 102 cable in conjunction with a Movi M15 setup and a RED camera, as well as a DX8 Spectrum radio. Um, for this tutorial, I'm going to go through the, va the various DX8 settings, um, as well as a mix that we will need to set up. And then later, I will explain the settings that I changed in the Movi app uh, to make all this function properly. All right, so now we're going to go over the various settings that you'll need to set up in your DX8 radio here. Uh, first and foremost, we're going to need to go into the system setup menu. This is done by holding down the scroll wheel while turning on the radio like so. And now you're in the system setup menu. We're going to scroll down to switch select here. And you'll need to match these settings in your radio. So if any of these don't match, um, select once, you'll see the box will start flashing and then you can scroll to the setting that you need to set it to. So uh, just a quick refresher, we'll do training is inhibit, flaps is aux1, f mode is aux3, mix is inhibit, gear is still gear, aux2 is inhibit, left trim is inhibit, right trim is inhibit, as well as knob is inhibit. So once you've set up these switches. Uh, you can press back twice. The radio will reboot itself and next we need to set up some travel points in the servo setup. So we're going to go into the function list under servo setup here. We're going to scroll down to the second box here where it says throttle. We're going to select once and scroll it over to gear and we're going to match these settings. Um, so if this isn't zero, set it to zero. That's, that's done by selecting it once, scrolling it down to zero percent. To get to the other box, you'll need to flip your radio, your, your gear switch back. The box will change to the other side. Set this one to 50 percent as well. Once you've done that, we do need to set up a sub trim, so we'll scroll two up to where it says travel, and we'll move it over to sub trim and set this to 115 negative. That'll be all you need to do in the servo setup list. Next, we will need to set up a little bit of mixing because we want our rudder stick to be the same as our auxiliary. So we're going to scroll down one from uh, aileron over to rudder, uh, rudder to mix one and we're going to mimic these settings here. So set this box to rudder, right arrow to AX2, rate will be 100% for both boxes, offset can stay 0%, trim can stay inhibit, and switch can stay to on. After you've done that we can go back one, and I'll show you the monitor here. And if everything was done correctly, you should see rudder and AX2 moving together, as well as your gear switch will be a negative 50% and a negative 100%. Okay, well that concludes the settings that we'll need to set up in the DX8 radio. Action. Okay, so here we are looking at the Movi app. Uh, we're going to go through the various settings that we need to set up to make all this work within the Movi. So to start off, we're going to need to go from configurations to dual operator. We're going to set the controller type to PPM Gropner. And we're going to change the channel numbers from what you probably have right now to the ones that we have in it currently. So for mode, we're going to change that to negative 8. For pan, we're going to change that to negative 2. For pan rate, we're going to change that to 1. Roll trim will be 0. Tilt will be negative 3. Tilt rate will also be 1. And finally, shutter can stay 0. All right, so now we're going to go over the various connections here to make all this work. Uh, you'll see the 
Red Pro 102 cable here, as well as the AR7700. Um, so basically we're going to be plugging in port one of the 102 cable. We'll go into the gear port on the AR7700 here. Port two on the 102 cable will go into AX2 on the AR7700. Port three on the 102 cable will go into AX1 on the AR7700. And finally, in order for this AR7700 to communicate with your Movi, we will be plugging the PPM port into the SBUS port on your Movi to make this communicate. And the connection to the Red Pro 102 cable will be going into the control port on your RED camera. So there are a couple things we need to double check to make sure that this RED Pro 102 cable is communicating correctly with your RED camera. We're going to need to go into your menu. We're going to need to go to settings, then to setup, then to communication, then to our serial tab, and double check that the protocol is set to RED Link Command Protocol. If it isn't, this needs to be changed to that. And that should be all you'll have to do within your RED in order to have your cable communicate correctly. Okay. okay all right, so if you have everything connected correctly, the controller should function as so. You've got various uh, mode switches here. On the back of the control, you'll have your start-stop for the RED camera. Pulling this back, we'll start the recording. Pushing this away, we'll stop the recording. You have your iris ISO increase and decrease. This needs to be in the middle position unless you're changing the setting. So toggle up to increase or toggle down to decrease and back into the center. On the rudder or the left stick here, this one is now your iris. So if you want to decrease or increase your iris, left or right on the rudder stick here. As far as the Movi controls, the tilt and pan speed have been muxed into the same control stick here on the left. So increasing the throttle stick increases your tilt and pan speed. The opposite is so for lowering the throttle as well as tilt speed. Right stick functions as normally, left, right, up and down for tilt. The mode switch right here functions as normally. You have your off or your kill mode, you have your majestic mode, and you have your dual operator mode. Okay. Well, this has been Chris at Quadrocopter demonstrating the Red Pro Camera 102 cable uh, with a Movi and a DX8 paired to the AR7700 receiver. Thanks, and have a good fight. Ah, <laughs> <laughs>